Alright, so for my demo, I'm doing the thermoelectric fan. And this covers the thermodynamics portion of our class, and in particular the thermoelectric effect. And what the thermoelectric effect is, it's the conversion of two temperature differences into an electric voltage in a system. And why is there an electric voltage caused by this? It's because when there's two temperature differences in a system, it induces a current, and that current causes there to be electrical voltage. And to explain why there's a current caused, you have to go to the atomic level. Now, when there's two separate uh, temperature differences in the system, there's a hot and a cold, when you would apply these temperatures, the electrons from the hot side of the system move to the cold side of the system, and that movement of electrons causes a, a current, and that current causes electrical voltage. Right. And this uh, uh, induced voltage can be used in thermodynamic devices, thermoelectric devices, to generate power just caused by temperature differences. And this generation of power in a system is called the Seebeck effect. And I'm going to go through the Seebeck effect right now. So what we need is we have a cold beaker that's at about zero degrees C. Hope we're getting all this camera in. And uh, we have a hot beaker that should hopefully be at about 100 degrees C. And we're going to use this thermo fan that has two leads. Now I'm going to put one on each side. And hopefully, hopefully, the temperatures from the hot is going to cause the electrons to move to this side and it's going to cause a current. And the fan's going to go. I mean, you got to get started. All right, well, this is awkward. Give us a second. Physics awkward. Please go. We need a kickstart. Alright, so I tried doing it in boiling water and ice water, and as you can see, that's not working. I also tried doing it in a pot of boiling oil, which is boils at 200 degrees instead of 100 degrees, and that still didn't work. So the only thing I can do now is show you a clip off the internet that does work. In okay, so as you can see, they got the hot beaker and the cold beaker, and like I would have done, like I tried, put the fan one end in the hot, one in the cold, and the current induced by the temperatures should make the fan go. And it does here. And that's because the flow of the electrons from the hot end to the cold end causes the current which induces the electrical the voltage which runs the fan. And uh, talk about going green nowadays. It's, what is more going green than being able to run some sort of uh, electrical device with nothing but change of temperatures. It's pretty cool.